So it's a very exciting time when it's time for your kid to get out of diapers and start using the toilet. Uh, but a lot of parents wonder, well, what's the right way to go about toilet training? So the good news is there's no absolute right way. There's no absolute best way and there's no perfect age. The most important thing that I tell parents is to start to look for signs of potty readiness in their child. Usually we expect to see those around 18 months. Some kids it's a little earlier, especially if they have older siblings. Some kids it's a little bit later. But basically what you wanna look for are signs that your child actually understands the concept of the toilet and is interested in it. So they may be following you or your spouse to go to the bathroom or following older siblings and wanting to watch other people go to the bathroom or they may be just telling you when they go. So they may reach behind and tell you when they're dirty or when they're wet. And those two things are good signs that, you know what, we can give this potty training thing a try. What I recommend to parents usually is to start with really simple stuff. Uh, some of my other videos I've talked about how terrifying I, I think it probably is for kids to see a toilet. Uh, and again, like I've said, it, the toilet is as big as they are, it makes a lot of noise, everything you stick into it disappears. I would be terrified of that thing too if I were 18 months old. And so have a little patience with them. A lot of times what's nice is of course to have their own little potty next to the grown up potty. And I like to tell parents that if your child's a little bit hesitant, you can start with just taking the diaper that they're telling you is dirty, taking it over to either their potty or to the big potty and kind of ceremoniously dumping whatever's in their uh, diaper into the toilet uh, to get them comfortable with it. And if they seem really comfortable with that, you can offer to let them sit on the toilet. That can even be after they've already gone. So you can have a kid who tells you, hey, I just made poop or I just ma made pee. And you can take them to the toilet and say, hey, do you wanna sit? Let them sit and just develop a comfort level so that they're not so scared of this new unknown situation. Of course, anything they do on the potty, big applause. If it's sitting there for 15 minutes and they do nothing but sit and then get up and say they're done, super brave, what a great job. Um, the most important thing is never to force. So if you offer for your child to go sit on the toilet, they tell you they don't want to, or they say they want to, but when you put them on it, they start crying, just let them get off. You never want to force them to be on the toilet because that really will make them nervous, make them scared, and that can lead to stool retaining behavior and that can lead to constipation, which will make them even less likely to want to use the toilet. Once you start introducing it, what I tell parents is just let your child take the lead. Everywhere else in life, you're in charge. When it comes to the potty, let them set the signals, let them set the pace, offer as much as you can, applaud anything they do, encourage them, of course, and then just be patient and take them through the steps. Hopefully that will lead to a really easy transition to potty time. MedTwice.com